Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today I have a box in a card to show you. Isn't this the cutest thing ever? When we were in Thailand on our incentive trip, um, there were demonstrators there demonstrating during a special event for us. And this was one of the cards that was shown to us. I knew I had to make one of these for Christmas because I think it's just so stinking cute. This doesn't have to be exclusive for Christmas. You could give this for any occasion. It is just the cutest little thing and you're gonna dazzle your friends and family with this puppy. And I thought this was the perfect project for the winter holiday blog hop today. I've got several more variations of this that I'll show you when I'm done showing you how to make it. So make sure you stick around. Let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna come in here with all my cardstock layers first. This is my card base, it's pool party, and it's five and a half by eight and a half. Then I've got the Quilted Christmas Designer Series Paper Stack. These are just adorable. Let me see, oh, here's my little sample. This is in the mini catalog on page five. These little patterns are perfect for just about any occasion. I absolutely love this stack, and I love it so much that I barely have any left in mine. So <laughs> this is a really good pack of designer series paper. You get four sheets of each design and they're all double-sided, so super cute. I've got a piece of Whisper White scrap and then a layer of Real Red that is one and three quarters by five and a half. Another piece of the Quilted Christmas designer series paper that's one and a half by five and a half. And then real red again, that is three by three. The first thing I'm gonna do here is bring in my paper trimmer and we are going to score the lid of our little box. Now this is three by three and you're gonna score it at a half an inch on each side. Now, I shouldn't say a half an inch. It needs to be just a tiny hair less than a half an inch to fit on our box. So instead of putting it right up to the half an inch line, you're gonna pull it back just a little bit, less than a sixteenth of an inch. And we're gonna do that on all four sides. So just a tiny bit before the half inch line. The other thing that we need to score is our six by six piece of designer series paper. You're gonna score that at two inches on all four sides. You do not have to alter that measurement at all. If you don't have a stamp and trimmer or paper cutter, I really love this one. Did I do that side already? I did. This is a great paper cutter, so consider that. Paper cutters are really important to stampers. Now I'm gonna come in and I'm going to cut on these score lines up to the first score line. So we've got a score line here and a score line here and one that goes right there. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other end. I just flip that around and we're gonna do it right here again. Fold on all your score lines. This is just a typical box. There's nothing tricky about this. And if you if you watch my videos, I'm sure you've made boxes before. If you're new to boxes, give it a shot. They're super simple. All right, now you've got two tabs in the middle here. We're gonna leave those two alone for now, but we're gonna take these other ones and we're gonna trim them just a little bit. This is gonna make your box go together a little bit easier. If you leave those long tabs on these pieces, it kind of fights you a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to push my middle tabs out and pull my side tabs in and I'm gonna apply some glue here. I'm gonna pull this up and put my middle tab right up against there. Make sure it's squared up nice because if boxes aren't squared up like they're supposed to be, you know that they don't work very well. And again, I'm gonna apply some glue to this outside little tab and I'm gonna pull it to the inside and again, square it up on this corner to make sure that we've got a square box. I'm gonna do the same thing down here. Pull that middle tab out. I'm gonna add some glue. And 
Make sure you're getting that squared up nicely. I love the glue because I can slide it around a little bit until I get it where it needs to go. Then this last piece, it's not really as bad as it looks. Just add some glue in there and square that up also. So we've got four squared up squares, right? Here's our cute little box. Super, super simple. This is the lid for our box. And you're gonna kinda do the same thing here. You're gonna cut these two tabs and then flip it around and cut these two tabs. And now I like to take little tiny slivers out on my tabs so that my box will go together better. If you've ever had those little tabs get in your way when you're trying to make your, well this is a lid, trying to make things square, it's not fun. This will help alleviate that issue. Okay, nice crisp fold with the bone folder. Oops. There we go. All right, now pull the tabs in and again, glue on the tabs. Not too much, takes too long to dry when you use too much glue. Make sure you're squaring these up nicely. There we go. And then this one. We're gonna do the same thing down here. Pull those tabs in, add a little glue. And square up those corners. That one wasn't quite square when I first pushed it down, but again, the glue lets you move things around, so I really, really, really can't stress enough how nice it is to use glue when you're putting together these little boxes. This is gonna be snug. Don't worry about it. But isn't that super cute? Oh my gosh. Now, let me show you these little cutie patooties. These are our Season of Glitz mini bows. You get 45 of these in a pack. Holy cow. I think I'm going to use a green one on this. Look at how cute they are. They're just adorable. Cute little bows. These are perfect for these types of projects. I think they're pretty inexpensive too. I want to I'll put it up on the screen how much they cost, but I they're less than $10 for all of those. You're going to just peel that backing off. There we go. Put that right on top of my present. Ah, super cute, right? I love that. Okay, on to the rest of our card here. I'm going to glue the one and a half inch designer series paper to my one and three quarter inch strip here. We've got a little bit of stamping to do. Okay, the stamp that I'm gonna use is coming from the Labels to Love. This goes along with our new punch, Everyday Label Punch, love this one. And I'm just going to stamp a real red image. My real red is not inked up very well. Let me try that again. Hate it when that happens. There we go, that looks much better. We're gonna bring our punch in and punch that out. And then I've got a piece of gold glimmer paper. I forgot to put the gold glimmer paper when I showed you the different layers we're using. So we're using gold glimmer paper also. So we're gonna punch out a gold glimmer and also our stamped image and then we're going to cut this in half because I want this to layer around the outside of my label. I'm just gonna take a little bit of tape and lay it right underneath my silver glimmer. Did I call it gold before? I might have called it gold, but you guys know it's silver. Okay, I'm gonna line this up, and all I'm looking at really is this top strip that's sticking out right here to get things where I want them to be. 
So see that tape sticks it right on there and now I've got another piece of tape on here and I'm gonna do the same thing. Lay this right on top. This is such an easy way to make a beautiful glitzy border right around your stamped image. Now I'm coming in with a couple dimensionals and this will be ready when we're ready to put our card together. I'm just gonna set those aside for a minute. I'm gonna bring my paper trimmer back in here because we're gonna do the base of the card that holds the box. You're gonna fold your card in half. The folded edge is up here. And now I'm gonna put it in my paper cutter and I'm gonna put it over to the one inch mark and we are going to cut the hole out for the box now. You're gonna cut it two inches down. So I'm gonna stop it right on the ruler where it says two inches. And then you're gonna move it over so that this side is at two and a half inches. You need a two inch hole here to hold our box. And again, cut it down to the two inch mark on your ruler. And now we're gonna pull this out and we're gonna put our card up to two inches so we can cut that last line here. And you can see that now. There we go. That back layer may not completely cut like the front layer did, but it will come off quite easily. You can see there's a little bit left here and I'm just gonna trim that with my snips. Perfect. Okay, you can save this for something else. I've got the quilt top embossing folder here. And this is gonna be the front of my card. So I want to see the Stamping Up logo here and put it in the embossing folder so that my texture will be raised instead of indented. And I've lined that up with the fold line on my card I'm gonna run this through the Big Shot, I'll be right back. Okay, here we go in all its beautifulness. And this pattern matches the Designer Series paper stack. Isn't it beautiful? It's just exquisite. All right, now I think we're ready to put the rest of our card together. So we can go voila. Here comes our little strip. Let's just add some fun color to the front of your card. And here comes our label. Add that right there. Then the last thing I'm gonna do is I've got this Christmas tree die. This is from the Santa sleigh bundle, which is adorable too, but it's got this really nice Christmas tree in it. And I wanted a nice big tree, so I'm going to run this through the Big Shot. I'll be right back, and here we go. We're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of the tree. And you wanna kind of, I would add at least three to make sure that it stays up where it belongs. I've got two regular size dimensionals, and then if you've seen, I've shown you guys these little baby ones. They're perfect for smaller areas. Forget to stick your fingernail in the middle of those dimensionals. That'll raise the edges up so it's easier to get the backing off. Here we go. Ooh, it's coming together. Here's our cute little Christmas tree. Got one more thing I want to do. We're going to stamp a greeting on the inside. And this one just says season of cheer. You can put any greeting you want in the middle there. Are we ready? Here comes our card. Here comes our cute little box. Now when you go to put your box into your card base, you'll notice that you have to kind of push the lid down on there and that's what keeps it firmly, whoops, firmly in place. Let's see if I can get my box in there, there we go keeps it firmly in place and it keeps the lid on. So your lid does go into your card. That little hole that you've made just a little bit there. See what I'm talking about? 
There we go. Oh my gosh, so cute. I love this one too. I hadn't used this pattern paper for any of the boxes. Now, are you ready to see the rest of them that I made? Okay, hang tight. Here's one. I love the designer paper combinations on here. And then let me show you what I did on the inside of my cards. I use mini glue dots and I'm putting gift cards in here. So this is a gift card holder. I'm planning to put a little bit of candy in this box because I don't know, I just think giving gift cards to stores in just a regular card or envelope is super boring and it doesn't use any imagination. So this way my friends and family are going to get a little treat in here and a beautiful card and then the gift card is going to be on the inside. I think that's a great way to give gift cards. Here's another one just using some different pattern paper and this has a Domino's gift card in it. Here's one with a red card base. I think that's really pretty too and I love this green paper. This one has a Cabela's gift card in it. And I already showed you the pool party one. I love that. There's a tiny little bit of pool party in this pattern paper here and that's where I pulled that color combo from. So there you go. These bows are adorable. Make sure you get some of those. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you can go right to my blog, www.estampabove.com, and you can place an order and get any of these products that I've just shown you. I'll also have a complete list of all the products that I use to make this, this project on my blog. You can click on them and go right to my store. And if you don't have the current catalogs, oh my gosh, pop me an email at kelly at estampabove.com. I would be happy to mail them to you. They are delicious. We have a brand new catalog coming out January too. So if you place an order through me, you get on my list to get a free catalog in January. Click down here on my subscribe button so you won't miss anything coming up. I'm going to be starting a holiday series. I'm on a design team, so I've got some great videos coming out shortly. Thanks, you guys, for joining me for this video today. I appreciate that you took a little time to watch this. If you make some of these, send me pictures. I love to see what you guys are creating. I just got some pictures today of a fabulous little box that I had a video on um, last week. So super excited to see those. Make sure you click through the blog hop so you can see all the winter holiday projects that we have for you today. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.